Hey YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and welcome to another edition of Come Open This Mail With Me. <laughs> okay, it is Saturday the 21st. It's morning time in my neck of the woods, a nice, beautiful pre-fall morning. Fall is on Monday, but it's already started. I'm in the fall spirit. <laughs> I've been, um, well, yesterday... I made my first batch of bread, homemade bread, hadn't made bread in a long time and hadn't made this particular recipe in one to two years. And let me tell you, the bread is so good. It's a hundred percent wheat loaf that I made with um, a coffee flavoring. It don't taste like coffee, but it is oh so good. And yesterday for the first time I made, I, okay. The endeavor was to make applesauce, but I killed two birds with one stone. I made apple cider, and then I made applesauce with the same apples. And oh my goodness, it is so... Yesterday, it smelled so good in my house, people. The smells of fall. Okay, but in this video, it's all about opening up mail. Uh, on Thursday... My family, we were in Concord. The boy had a football game. Shout out to everyone uh, who is from Concord, California. We were at De La Salle High School. And so um, we got back Thursday late at night. And Friday, which was yesterday, went to the mailbox because I knew it was jam-packed. And I knew my mailman was going to be so upset at me because, yeah... Sometimes he has to leave a note for me to get my mail. And I knew I knew it was going to be jam-packed. And it was jam-packed. And then I had other mail that was delivered yesterday. So I'm so happy I remembered to um, get my mail. Most of this, okay, minus the Amazon package. And I think he brought this yesterday on the porch. But everything else was stuffed in my mailbox he did a really good job let me tell you to fit everything in so i got some packages to open um i don't know what is what but let's see what this is <laughs> okay this oh my goodness this is my order from scrapbook.com if you guys don't know i i'm hooked i'm hooked on you I'm hooked on gingerbread, right? And so I saw, and I believe it's a brand new stamp. I had never seen it before. So yeah, I got some gingerbread in this stack. But I also ordered some mason jars because I love mason jars. And this is by Penny Black. Oh, this is small. But I love the mason jars that have lids. And this has two lids, but this is tiny. You know, I should put my glasses on. Not that this die is going to be any bigger because it's naturally small, but it's cute. Yeah, that's tiny. Okay, this is, oh my goodness, when I saw this, I, I, oh my goodness, I was excited because now I'm assuming the gingerbread that comes, the dies that is, that comes in the collection will have these gingers and ginger gents sitting down because I have been on the hunt for gingerbread people in different poses. So, oh, this is so cute. I believe you get the different gingerbreads and it's called gingerbread cubbies and it says clear stamps. Sometimes they make rubber stamps and I was so hoping that this set was rubber but it's clear. Oh, and these cubbies are so cute. They're cute. Oh my goodness. Now, this set was quite the price. I got a discount from scrapbook.com, but oh, it is so worth it. Oh, yes, you guys, the matching dies. Oh, finally, finally, finally. Okay, so the dies. Okay, you snip these apart. I was going to say how cool if you can cut them all cut them all out at one time. 
You know what? Let me see if these are, these better be photopolymer and not acrylic. Because for the price, okay, I think these are photopolymer. Photopolymer stamps, they're a much superior, higher grade than acrylic. Acrylic stamps are the ones you get really cheap. You get with the UK magazines you find at your local craft stores for the most part. But even some big retailers sell acrylic, like Anna Griffin, her stamps are acrylic. And I don't care for acrylic, but these seem to be pretty thick. Now, I love the smell of photopolymer. Some people don't like it, but I like that new smell. And these are so cute. Oh, wow. Where's the packaging? Okay, um, look at the different images, you guys. Look at that little one. That is so cute. The ones that are sitting are my favorite. And look at his pose. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this set. And once again, it's called Gingerbread Cubbies. And I'll have links, you guys, for these products below if you are interested. Okay, and then I finally got this set. I saw this set last year. And, oh, I'm going to probably mess the name up because I don't remember the full name. And I might have the wrong YouTuber, but I think Try, try Hard. I think I saw her use this last year and it was, it's been on my to get list. And then I thought, you know what? I can create this without the die, but I saw that scrapbook.com had it and figured why not, why not get it? And you know, it's bigger than I thought. And I like, Ooh, look, it has two candy cane dies, including the shadow die. So this is a lot bigger than what I thought it was going to be. Okay, and then I picked up another mason jar. <laughs> okay, if you guys don't know, I love mason jars. About four years ago, I did a mason jar mania video and shared all of my, well, not all, but I shared my mason jar stamps and dies in that video. Um, but several days ago, tell him thank you, Tina. I think that's her name, Tina from Tell Him Thank You. She shared a mason jar comparison video. And I just absolutely loved that video. And so I was going through my stuff to see because I had a lot of what she showed. But then there were some things she didn't share. So I don't think she shared this. But anyway, ever since I saw that video, I have been going through because I can't find several mason jar dies that I know I have. And I know I have them because I shared them in videos, right? But I can't find them. So anyway, while I was, well, I'm still in the mason jar spirit, I thought, let me pick up some more mason jars since there are so many out there. Now, this collection is by Honey Bee. And it makes a mason jar card. Of course, you don't need a die like this to make a card. If you just have a die, you could make a die, not a die. If Well, if you have a die, you can make a card out of any die that you have. But I saw this one. And once again, it has the lid. And I like that. It has two lids. Well, the fabric lid and then it has the top lid. So yeah, I picked So that's it. my order from scrapbook.com. Woohoo! Yay, yay! All right, uh, let's see. Let's do this package here. I have no clue what it is, you guys. None whatsoever. This is eBay, more than likely. Oh, it's a stamp. Okay, let's see what it is. Oh, okay, I got a story to tell. This is another mason jar. I love to collect these, the vintage ones in particular. And I got this one from eBay, but let me grab something really fast. So several days ago, and this has happened to me twice in the last five days, I had an eBay seller. She canceled my order the other day because she couldn't find it or she sold it. It was a whole lot like seven stamps and they were vintage, right? Um, so I just got reimbursed. But another seller, well, I ordered a, a mason jar that I didn't believe I had. And um, anyway, the seller sent me a message stating that the mason, she couldn't find it. 
So she offered me another stamp at the same price and she sent a picture of this one. However, I sent her a message back saying, thank you, you know, for wonderful customer service, but I have that stamp. I'm looking right at it. And I was looking at this one, right? And so a couple days later, which was a couple days ago, I'm searching eBay for mason jar stamps and I see, I see this image and for some reason I clicked on it. I'm like, I know I have it, but I, sometimes the sellers, they'll have rulers next to their image. And this particular seller had a ruler next to the stamp. And I said, now, wait a minute. According to their ruler, their stamp is a lot larger than mine. Now, I have purchased things from eBay with sellers using their rulers. And I don't know what type of ruler from where they got it from, but it just didn't. It's confusing. It didn't match up to what I thought the size would be. So I paid extra attention to the picture. And I said, no, the ruler is in inches. How come it's like triple the size of my stamp? And then it dawned on me. The company that made this stamp have it in different sizes because when I went back, well, I had this stamp already. I think I got it a couple years ago. But I, one of the, probably this seller stated large or small or whatever. And then I knew you can find the same stamp in um, different sizes. So that's what you're looking at here. So be aware of that. I, I didn't know it. You know, I love the things that are bygone. And uh, the thing about that, though, you don't know what's out there. And so I like to shop at thrift stores and antique stores and estate sales and on eBay because it's a lot of like forgotten and lost treasures out there. So I had no clue. And this particular stamp is made, it's called Love Jar. There's, okay, by Dots. I didn't know that Dots made this stamp into So this stamp time. did not come from the seller who sent me a picture because I told her I already had it. And um, I end up paying more because I got it from another seller. That's when it dawned on me. You know what? There's two different size stamps. So I could have saved several dollars. Had I known the picture she sent me was actually a picture of the larger stamp and not the small. Okay. One. But you know what? That's not even all the story. <laughs> so this was a happy accident buy. Because when I saw the image of the stamp on uh, eBay... I kept thinking, I think I have the stamp. I think I have it. But I had already went through all of my stamps and I couldn't find it. I said, but it looks awfully familiar. I think I have it. But I made the purchase because I couldn't find it. And so right after I made the purchase, you guys, I looked on my desk, the same desk I was sitting at where I made the purchase, and then I saw this stamp. And I said, darn it, I just made another repeat buy. This was right in front of my face. When I looked for the stamp, I was looking in my stamp hutches to see if it was there because that's where I have most of my mason jar stamps. So this one was right in front of my face and I thought, darn it, because for the last week, you guys, I have found several repeat items. <laughs> I even got a package that I already opened this week of a gingerbread stamp that I already had. <laughs> so anyway, I thought, oh my goodness, I just ordered the same stamp. And then that's when I did some research and found out that no, the stamps are are really different Okay, sizes. you guys, I'm going to stop that video right now. I still have other mail to open, so if you guys are interested in what's in my packages, right, you do want to subscribe, you do want to come back, and you do want to like, and I will have the gingerbread and the items that I showed from scrapbook.com. I will have those items linked in my description box. Okay, like, subscribe, share. Um, check out my links and I want to thank you all for watching as always. Blessings.